What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Abby made some delicious food this morning. I just... She's in her little unicorn onesie. <laughs> She made some, she made that tri-tip. Um, she woke up at like three o'clock in the morning because she has work tonight at midnight. So she, she had to wake up so she can sleep today. But she made some awesome tri-tip with potatoes and carrots and what else is in there? The, the. Salt and pepper and yeah. beef broth and all that. So she made that. So I'm taking some of that to work. And then. I already got it. Got eggnog. Mm -hmm. Yay. There's a few things in the car that I'm taking to the store from our grocery shopping trip yesterday. We got some uh, Kool-Aid jammers and my cherry RC cola. I told you guys before, RC is my favorite cola. Oh RC is better than oh RC is better <laughs> than Coke and Pepsi in my opinion. <laughs> there she is. I love you. I love you. you gotta go. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. You have a good sleep. I will. All right, guys, I'm at the store. Uh, I've been open for about an hour and a half now, and I got one very, very small trade here. We got Lego Rock Band and Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes. You can see my price tag on there because the guy bought this game, and he already beat it, so he's trading it back in. Uh, there were two other games here that I didn't... I. I wasn't gonna take, and then he said I could have them for free. So that's Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08 for the Wii, and Active Life Outdoor Challenge for the Wii. Um, even the the Lego Rock Band at first I I wasn't gonna take, but then I thought you know we don't have it, so why not? Um, you know, not a not a huge deal. He used his credit to to get um, Grand Theft Auto 4 for PS3. There's been a few other people in. One guy he got. Dr. Mario and Bart versus the Space Mutants for NES. And then he also picked up Lord of the Rings Volume 1 for Super Nintendo. And then um, we also just sold a couple vinyl records and I think Lego Marvel Super Heroes for 3DS. Uh, that's everything so far today, though. And I've been working on some of the stuff here. Um, I'm almost done editing yesterday's vlog, so I need to finish that up. And so I'm gonna get back to work. I'll let you guys know if anything else comes in. Warping through the day a little bit here. It's three, almost 3.30 now. We've had a couple more trade-ins, which I'm going to show you. And there's also been someone who's been calling the store who is calling from out of the country. Um, I know that the country code for, for the United States is one, and they're calling from five. Not sure where it is. They have a very, very heavy accent and I cannot understand anything that they're saying. I can hear him say how much, and then from there on, I can't understand him. And not only is it because of the accent, but it's also because the phone sounds very muffled and like like he has me on speakerphone or something, and I, I cannot understand anything he's saying. And I've told him multiple times, hey man, I'm really sorry, I cannot understand what you're saying. If you want to send me a message to the Double Jump Video Games Facebook page, I can help you that way, but I really can't understand you. And at the time he was calling, there was like seven customers in here that I'm trying to help. And like he called like eight times. So really not cool. I had to unplug my phone because he wouldn't stop calling. And so it's been plugged in now for about five minutes and he hasn't called back yet, but it's very frustrating. Um, I don't, I feel like I should be able to block international phone calls to the store phone anyway. So I might have to call Comcast and see if I can set that up, but very weird anyway. Onto the trade. So I got one small one here, then one that's a little bit bigger. We have Final Fantasy Tactics for the PSP, Jack and Daxter for PSP, Jack 2 for PS2, and then Smash for the Wii. So that was the smaller one there. And then the other one, we have a couple empty boxes, the Wii Sports Resort big box thing, and then the Mario Party 10 box, just empty box. And then we have a sealed Amiibo Festival for Wii U, these are extremely common. And then <clears throat> Black Ops 2, Perfect Dark Zero in the Steelbook, Gears of War 2 in the Steelbook, Alan Wake for the 360, and then we have Air Force Delta for Dreamcast, Slave Zero for Dreamcast, 
Then we have a Final Fantasy VIII Missing Disc 1 and also a Chrono Cross Missing Disc 1. Then Fantasy Star Online for Dreamcast, Evolution for Dreamcast, a disc-only Power Stone for Dreamcast, Test Drive 6, Incoming, GTA 2 for Dreamcast, Missing the Back Artwork, Suzuki Game, Sega GT, and then Tomb Raider for PS1. So those are all the trades so far. Um, a couple of you guys said that you really liked hearing what sold, so I think um, at the end of the vlog tonight, I'm going to go through my list. You know, my, I can I can get a daily sales report um, from my inventory system. So I'll go through there and just list off the kind of stuff that sold. Um, I've already told you a few of the things I think already today, but uh, we'll do that at the end. I'm not going to do it every single day because I feel like it would kind of be boring and it, it does take a while when there's a lot of sales to go through. But um, a couple of you guys did say you liked it, so I'll, I'll do that again today for you. And uh, yeah, I've got my Cherry RC and Abby sent me here with some of the tri-tip and basically pot roast, but with tri-tip. So there's like carrots and potatoes and all that. Um, she actually said that there's gonna be a lot more of that ready when I go home tonight, so I'll have some nice dinner. And then she's going to be, she said she's doing mac and cheese as well. And then she's doing keto chili tomorrow, I believe. And she's just gonna try to keep up with with making food which is going to be really cool because um we eat at least i eat out more than i should and i don't need you guys telling me that i know it um the only problem is that i'm here 10 hours a day six days a week and i don't have time to cook myself food to bring here to eat and i don't expect abby to do that for me she's not my maid she's not my personal chef so it's up to me to feed myself. I'm a big boy. And so that results in me having to order food here to the store. And I don't like doing it. Obviously, it's more expensive. It's not as healthy and all that. And I enjoy cooking, but I'm not going to, you know, if I'm not taking a shower in the morning, I wake up at 10. The store opens at 11. So I have half an hour to get ready and leave the house. And then when I get home, Usually Abby leaves right away and I'm not in the mood at that point to start cooking food for tomorrow's lunch and breakfast and all that. So I usually just get a little bit of food at home for myself or I have leftovers from the day here that I eat. But yeah, it's uh, it's not easy, but we did just go grocery shopping. We did just get the kitchen cleaned up. We got the, the fridge cleaned out. You know, I showed the fridge yesterday full of all the new stuff, but we had a lot of old stuff we had to get rid of and throw out. And um, so... We are trying. We'll see how long it lasts, but Abby's a good cook, and she has that Instant Pot thing, which makes things a lot easier. So the tri-tip's really, really good. I had a small piece this morning before I left that she had made. Like, she woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, like I said, but she's just started cooking food. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But I'm going to get back to work here. Oh, there's also a bunch of, like, GameStop posters and stuff that uh, my buddy Dave just gave to me got this super c one which i think probably originally came from um a store here in the portland area called cd game exchange they have multiple locations but they sell these posters which i'm sure is not 100 percent legal for them to do that i think they just print them off themselves and sell them but um this was given to me as well so i am going to put this up here um somewhere maybe up there not exactly sure but i'm gonna put that one up the rest of them i don't a lot of them are really, really big. Like, they take two or three panels. I don't have room for those here, so I might just give them away. Um, there's a few kids who live around the block that come in here all the time. They dig through the free bin, and whenever I put posters out there, they take them all. So um, if I see them come in, I'll ask them if they want them. There's also some space above the, the VHS here, kind of a big area, big blank spot, which maybe I can put something there. Who knows? But I'm going to get back to work. I'm still working on all this stuff here. I got those two new bundles to put in now. But after that, I'm planning on printing the price tags and getting all this stuff done and taken care of. And then Josh is going to be in here tomorrow helping me once again. He is scheduled tomorrow. So all good. Hope you guys are having a good day. I know I am. This is a long clip. I'm stopping it right here. I'm going to make this quick here. I just tried to film this clip and it ended up being almost five minutes. So I'm going to do this quickly. In the pinned comment down below in the comment section, I'm going to do my best to remember to put that there. 
you will have two links. These are these are referral links for Ebates and Honey. And this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is just me helping you guys out. So Ebates and Honey, I've talked about them before, but basically what they are, they are browser extensions. They work on any browser. They work on PC or Mac, it doesn't matter. And basically what happens is when you are buying anything online from any major website, from eBay, GameStop, Walmart, Target, Amazon, it doesn't matter. It's a browser extension that's going to pop up when you're in the shopping cart and you click activate. That's all you have to do. From that point, you check out like normal. You know, you pay for your stuff on eBay, you pay with PayPal, you pay with your car, whatever you want to do. And then for any qualifying purchases that you make, they will give you cash back into your Ebates and or your Honey account. You can stack them so you can use Ebates and Honey at the same time, make even more. The reason I'm talking about this is because right now is when mine is coming due. So every four months, they will send me a check in the mail with my cash back amount. However, what I've opted to do last time and this time is I get a GameStop gift card instead. And because I do that, I get 10% I get extra. So I just got a GameStop gift card for $185.42. And I'm about to go right now and try to find some more inventory for the store. This is all free money. You don't have to do anything special. You're not paying any money for this. It's all completely free. All it is is a browser extension. Ebates and Honey, pretty much the same thing. They also sometimes will pop up and, and you give you like coupon codes that you can click and it'll automatically enter them for you. You might save a little bit of money like that, but like if you're buying stuff online and you're not using this, you're leaving free money on the table, honestly. So check it out. I, it says that I have 12 people that have signed up through my links before, but only two people have actually used it and gotten a bonus. So when you sign up through my link, if you spend, I think you have to do 25 bucks. Like, but like I said, it's money that you're going to spend anyway. You're buying a $20 game off of eBay and then a $5 thing here from Walmart. There's your 25. Once you hit that, you guys will get a bonus. You'll get, I think it's a $10 bonus that you'll get and then I'll get a little bonus as well. So it's helping me out, helping you out. And it's definitely worth using. My friend Andrew is the one who told me about it. I signed up through his referral link and yeah, it's just super awesome. So if you, if you're interested, check it out in the comments down below. Look at this mess guys. I've been working on getting some price tags and stuff on these things. This stack here and this stack is done. I have not stickered any of these yet. Also, the stack of controllers there is done, but all the other stuff is not yet. Um, I've been actually pretty busy for about the past hour and a half or so. Got a couple smaller trades to show you, and we've made a ton of sales, which is really awesome. So, uh, sit down here. This is the first little trade. We have Dissidia Final Fantasy and Riviera, the Promised Land for PSP. Then Phantom Brave with the slipcover for the Wii. Aliens vs. Predator for 360. And Rune Factory Frontier for the Wii. Pretty nice little trade. And this one here is also pretty cool. So we have the Page Master for Super Nintendo. Mystical Ninja, that's not one that we had in stock already, so that's cool. And then Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle and Asterix the, and the Great Rescue, which he said he bought from here. I don't remember seeing it, but um, he said he didn't really care for that one too much. Um, so those are the two trades. And then none of the stuff is stickered yet, but like I said, we were kind of busy there for a bit, so that was pretty cool. Made a lot of sales, and now I'm just going to get back to this, and it is 7 o'clock exactly, so I'm hoping that by the end of today, all this stuff will be done, I'll get pictures taken, and it'll all be put on the shelves. All right guys, it's actually the next day right now, but I was editing the vlog and realized that I did not include this at the end of the vlog like I promised. So I'm gonna go through now and tell you guys all the stuff that sold yesterday. And there's quite a bit of it, so it might take a little bit of time here, but I know that I promised it, so I'm gonna do it. So we sold Zot's Candy. We actually sold the rest of those, so I need to buy more. Um, Archer McLean's Mercury, Banjo-Kazooie Manual, Batman Tops Trading Cards, Bionic Commando, Boogerman, Bubble Bobble, Call of Juarez Bound in Blood, Coded Arms, Daffy Duck the Marvin Martians, Dark Sector, uh, Day I don't know what a lot of these systems are, um, Dark Sector, Daytona USA, which was Saturn, Donkey Kong Country, Dr. Mario for NES, Geometry Wars 3, uh, Sealed for PS4, Grand Theft Auto 2 for Dreamcast, Left 4 Dead Xbox, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 3DS, Max Payne, Mega Man X2 for Super Nintendo, of course, Mortal Kombat 2, 
uh, Mutant Year Zero, which was like a, a RPG book. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Heroes, Need for Speed Carbon. That's the first page. Um, a bunch of Nintendo Power magazines. Um, one of the Donkey Kong Nintendo Switch uh, Power A branded controllers. Um, Overlord for Xbox, Fantasy Star Online for Dreamcast, a Pichu plush, uh, the Pikachu with the Mega Charizard costume plush, Pikachu with the Mega Rayquaza plush, Rock with Modern Life for Super Nintendo, Sa a Sega Saturn controller, Sonic Colors for DS, Street Fighter 2 for Genesis, I think, or Super Nintendo, uh, Super Caesar's Palace, Siphon Filter Logan's Shadow, uh, Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo, The Darkness for... P or Xbox 360, I believe. The Punisher for NES. Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Uh, Time Shift. Uncharted 4. Uh, Loot Crate Wallet. Um, a bunch of dollar toys. A third-party Super Nintendo controller. Battle Blaze for Super Nintendo. Best of the Best Championship Karate for Genesis. Art of Fighting. Mortal Kombat. WWF Royal Rumble. All for Genesis. King of the Monsters for Super Nintendo. Mario's Time Machine for Super Nintendo. Grand Theft Auto 4 for PS3. Final Fight, Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat, SimCity, Lord of the Rings Volume 1, Vegas Stakes, Vortex, and Wolverine Adamantium's Rage, all for Super Nintendo. Uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, uh, a VHS, Mario Kart Wii, Wii Sports Resort, uh, Walking Dead Survival Instinct for 360, some Xbox One Fallout 4 bottle cap pins, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, and it looks like that's everything. So, <laughs> a lot of stuff that we sold yesterday, uh, but... That is going to do it for this little clip, and I will just roll with the outro from last night. Store is closing. Shutting off all the stuff right now. I didn't get everything out. Most things have price tags on them. These NES games here, I just put the little price tags on the ends, which we need, because when they're on the shelf, people won't be able to see the price tags without those. So I did all that. I got most of the excuse me, most of the stuff stickered, aside from the N64 games mainly and the Game Boy stuff. Uh, everything else is pretty much done, and I haven't taken pictures of it yet, so I can't put it away yet, but uh, first thing tomorrow morning, or possibly even tonight, because Abby doesn't work until midnight tonight, so I don't have to be home right away, um, but... I might stay a little bit longer and try to finish some of this stuff up. If not, by first thing tomorrow morning, all this stuff will be done. And tomorrow, obviously, is going to be Friday. So I'm expecting it to be fairly busy tomorrow. It's, it's you know, it's not like Saturday, but um, we should have a decent amount of customers coming in, especially after 5 p.m. or so. People get off work for the weekend, and they come in to grab some games to play. So, it'll be very cool. And I think that I will stay a little bit longer. So, I'm going to lock the door here. So that I don't get molested. Just in case, you never know. Some crazy people out there after dark. I also put this giant uh, Grand Theft Auto V poster, it's double-sided, put that in the window. Um, it's kind of peeling up already, so it's not going to be staying there for very long, unless I can find some other way to attach it. Uh, but I just used some of the labels that we print our price tags on to hold it up, which obviously are not super sticky, so they're only going to work for so long. But I'm going to finish up here. I'm at least going to get the NES games put away. Uh, beyond that, I mean, it only takes a few seconds to take pictures of this stuff, so I might do that as well. I'm just going to see what I can get done tonight, and then I'll come back tomorrow morning and finish it all off. Josh will be coming in tomorrow, so you'll see him. And yeah, it was a really good day today. Sales are really good. We had almost like Saturday sales for Thursday, which is really, really awesome. We didn't really sell too many systems, but we just sold a ton of just like little bundles of games just here and there all throughout the day, so they really added up. But I'm really happy with today. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and probably end the vlog right here. I know for the past couple weeks I've been going home and filming a tiny bit there, but um, this vlog is probably already long enough. I know a couple of the clips that I filmed earlier were super long. This one's already three minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.